Dear colleagues, dear colleagues, dear students, uh, I would like first to thank uh, Rector. Your presentation. Ah, yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. That's, anyway, that was uh, I would like to, to thank indeed uh, Rector Freimuth. I would like also to thank Vice Rector Mansell and Dr. Muller for organizing this wonderful initiative. We have been uh, within the Coimbra Group thinking about uh, indeed pushing forward some initiatives that allow uh, to discuss what is Europe today, where does it come from, where is it going, and this belongs to our role as a network of universities to, uh, to respond to, uh, to these aspects. And uh, this is the reason why uh, I entitled this presentation Coimbra Group Universities Responding to the Changing World, Promoting European Values. And I will, in a few slides, uh, first <coughs> present you what is the Coimbra Group, and what are within our universities uh, that make sense uh, in this uh, lecture series. So the Coimbra Group, uh, in a few facts and figures, uh, it's actually the first uh, network of European universities that has been created in 1985. Today it is composed of 39 universities from 23 European countries. Uh, Cologne being the latest uh, member that joined us uh, two years ago. Altogether, uh, it forms a group of 1.4 million students and more than 226,000 staff, including the teachers, the researchers, and the administrative staff. And for the, the small uh, story, if I may, may uh, call it like that, when the, the founding members uh, joined together uh, in, in 1985, the initial idea was to create a group where students would be sent easily to the other members. And two years later, the European Commission got to know about this, uh, this uh, sort of new tool, and they created the Erasmus program, which is now so famous, now called Erasmus Plus. But uh, it, it is actually the Coimbra group that is at the uh, initial idea of the uh, Erasmus program. So you, you see that there is already from the beginning, an idea that we are here to uh, foster European values. And uh, uh, from the latest uh, uh, available overview, uh, the 39 universities of the uh, Coimbra Group, just themselves, they are more than 16% of the whole Erasmus Plus mobilities. So that again shows how uh, the Coimbra Group universities are deeply and so uh, intimately related and linked to the, uh, the exchange of ideas and the flow of uh, people. Uh, you have here the, the list of the, the members, including the funding members. I will not, of course, go through this list, but as you can notice, uh, Curl, Cologne is, is uh, and I'm very happy about it, we are all proud that Cologne joined us uh, recently. Uh, just a, a, few, a few additional words. Uh, the Coimbra Group uh, is, uh, not, uh, is not actually a club of universities. This is absolutely not the, the, what we are here for. Uh, we are actually having working groups with people meeting regularly uh, on issues that uh, we have to deal with within universities. So we have uh, more specifically working groups working on research, issues, education issues, and outreach to the society issues. So this is a group of people doing things, not just meeting a few times a year and uh, having a glass of uh, wine or whatever. We are doing things to help the academic community, including the students, to really adapt and respond to the challenges of our society. And actually, this goes to um, the, the, the spirit of this, uh, the, this whole lecture series, that if uh, you look uh, back to old maps of medieval uh, universities, you will actually notice that, and I will of course not go into the details, but uh, you will notice on that, on that map that Cologne is on the map of the medieval universities, as uh, Rector Freiburg mentioned before. My own university, Poitiers in France, is also uh, was created in the Middle, Age, Middle Ages, and all the Coimbra Group universities are, were created uh, several centuries ago and have been participating to this creation slowly but surely of the European identity through the exchange of people. You, you can remember that a few centuries ago it was 
very um, popular to do the so-called Grand Tour, where the students would go from one university to another to meet the, be the best uh, teachers, to, be to meet the best researchers. This is actually what Erasmus is still doing. So actually, we are doing this for centuries now, and uh, this is why also we are so committed to the European values. Uh, as I mentioned, indeed, most of the Coimbra Group universities have been founded in the Middle Ages and almost existed without uh, interruption. I have to say that my own university was stopped during the, the French Revolution, so uh, that, that means that indeed politicians have tried at some points to, uh, to cut our voices down, but fortunately we, we were all uh, recreated or reopened. Uh, but this means that uh, not only in Europe, uh, our universities have a very special role within our cities. Uh, the, the universities have developed with our cities, uh, the, the campuses have developed with the urbanization of the, uh, the, the region, uh, and, and therefore universities and cities have this fundamental uh, framework and catalysis that, that uh, has accompanied the development of universities. Uh, also today, the universities have still a very a strong role in the development of knowledge, culture and education, but also the transfer of knowledge to, from the research labs to the local SMEs and industries. So there is still this vivid link between universities and the cities. And as you all know, cities and universities have a common goal to serve society. This special cooperation framework has been recently embodied in what we call the Poitiers Declaration. Uh, this is uh, something that we have developed on the occasion of the 2016 annual meeting in Poitiers, therefore the name Poitiers Declaration. It has been inspired from the Pavia Protocol, which has been created a bit before, and the idea is to put around the table rectors, so the universities, and the mayors, so the cities, all together and define global cooperation framework to make concrete and, vi uh, concrete and visi visible con contribution to the development of the local and regional uh, communities. So the co this cooperation framework, the Poitiers Declaration, is a, a declaration that has been signed by rectors and mayors all together. And this is a list of 10 joint actions where we are uh, commonly developing citizens' education through access of, uh, to knowledge and culture, as I mentioned, transfer of innovation from the research labs to the local socio-economic world, and of course the integration of the university campuses within the cities with the adequate transportation is also very important for the urban uh, policy. So uh, we are really pushing that all our uh, university members and their cities uh, jointly assign this, uh, this uh, framework, pro uh, framework um, cooperation uh, um, agreement and we are pushing so that we develop concrete, action, concrete actions all together. And this leads me to the next point which is that uh, I don't know if you have heard that actually 30 years ago the uh, Magna Carta has been signed by a lot of universities uh, all around the world and these Magna Carta principles are really at the core of the um, uh, uh, university values. The first principle is that the university is an autonomous institution transcending ge geographical and political frontiers. So this is why we just basically look at Europe as a whole and not just our own uh, countries. That the university is a trustee of humanism tradition University also serves society and spreads, culture, spreads culture and knowledge. The university rejects intolerance and is open to dialogue, so important today, of course. And research and teaching are inseparable, must be morally and intellectually independent, and remain under the seal of freedom. So these are the basic uh, values of the Magna Carta. And all the universities belonging to the Coimbra Group are signatories of the Magna Carta. Which means to uh, my final slide that what we believe is the role of universities and in particular the Coimbra Group universities is to speak up about our values, especially about uh, the European values, promoting collegiality, integrity, diversity and equality, engage with society by tackling today's challenges and also encourage active and responsible citizenship and this is the whole 
objective of this lecture series. So this is why I'm very pleased to be here. I'm very pleased that University of Cologne proposed this absolutely fabulous initiative and I really also look forward to all these lectures because I forgot to mention that being a physicist, I'm absolutely not an expert of all this, so I will uh, hopefully learn a lot through this uh, lecture series. So thank you very much.